one very common application of the trigonometric ratios is to measure things that you can't actually measure directly. And when we're talking about doing that, one of the common terms you'll run into is angle of depression or angle of elevation. So I want to explain that real quick. If we have, a, say, a, a person, as usual, please forgive my lovely lack of artistic ability. <laughs> if we have a little person who is standing next to, say, a tall building, um, and that building here, he was curious to see how tall it is, but of course he can't measure it because he doesn't have a, you know, a few thousand foot long measuring tape. So what he does is just measure how far he is from the building, and then he will look from where he's standing up to the top of the building, and then use a tool to measure that angle. That angle, the, the angle difference between what would be horizontal for him or straightforward for him, and then the angle up to the top of the building, that's the angle of elevation. Which makes perfect sense because what we're talking about is his looking, the angle he looks at to see the elevation of the object he's measuring. Now, if you are standing, and we have something similar, we have another guy and he's standing on the edge of a cliff, say, and this little dude is up here and he's looking down the cliff and he's thinking, gee, I wonder how far down that is. Well, in that case, what we're looking at, if he's seeing maybe a house over here or something, in that case, straight across, again, horizontal, would be his sort of baseline reference, and then looking downward to the top of the house, this would be an angle of depression. Angle of depression. And again, makes sense. You think of depressing a switch uh, means to push it down. Well, an angle of depression is an angle downward from a reference. And in both cases, our reference is just horizontal or straight across from wherever the person is looking. So it's an angle of elevation if they're looking up. It's an angle of depression if they're looking down. And in either case, we're going to use our trigonometric ratios then to figure out what the height, say either the height of a building, from wherever his eyes are to the top of the building, or the depth of a canyon, or the depth of a valley down to the bottom, down to the top of a house, wherever it is he's looking from the top of the, the cliff standing next to it. We will use our trigonometric ratios to figure out the uh, heights and uh, depths of things that we can't otherwise measure directly. So let's take a look at the example problems and see how these things apply, uh, apply to real-world situations. Mm -hmm.